Okay guys, so in this video I'm going to show you two different tests. First of all, I'm going to show you comparison between the new Mac Mini M1 2020 8 core with 8 gigabytes of RAM with the iMac 27 inch 2020 i9 10 core with 40 gigabytes of RAM. I'm going to compare these two machines in two tests. The first one is going to be a side by side demo project comparison. So I'll play the demo project at the same time and you will see how the CPU handles it as well as the memory handling of the both, both of the machines. I'm going to have the activity monitor up so you can see how they both perform. The next test is going to be an Ableton stress test. So I'm going to load up a lot of different third-party plugins. So I'm going to use Silent plugin, Nexus plugin, Diva plugin and Serum plugin. So all of these plugins are going to play at the same time in multiple instances. And I'm going to delete, take off or add different plugins depending on how well the CPU handles them. So you can see how much of a difference there is between the Mac Mini M1 versus the iMac 10 core machine. So let's see how this goes. The test is very easy. I'm going to add or take off different plugins. So as soon as the CPU meter here in Ableton shows over 100%, that means that it doesn't, it, it can't really handle the project anymore. So there's where we have to back off and take off one plugin so it's in that 100% range. So let's see how the Mac Mini compares with the iMac in this test. So as you can see in this test, I got the Mac Mini M1 to play six instances of Silent, six instances of Nexus 3, six ones for Diva, six ones for Serum. And that would peak the CPU performance of Ableton of around 100%. And just the peaks. For the iMac 27 inch, it's a totally different story. You can see I got the 19 instances of Silent, 16 for Nexus 3, 24 for Diva, 20 for Serum. So there's a major difference between these uh, systems in Ableton. As you saw before with the demo project, there wasn't any significant difference between the systems. Uh, the CPU performance was a bit better on the iMac side.
with CPU heavy projects, there's uh, a lot more that you can do with iMac here.